Thursday in American tradition is renewed as Speed Weeks begins in Daytona. The season starts here from the first practice to victory lane. Be there for Danica's ARCA debut, the Gatorade Duel, and the season opener for the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. Live coverage on Speed begins Thursday at 4 Eastern. So many great events down there at Daytona. We're going to have a great pre-race show, a three-hour pre-race show prior to the Daytona 500, but I am really looking for Danica's debut in a stock car. That is going to be so much fun to watch. Should be a great event. What a great crowd here at Irwindale for this event, the Toyota All-Star Showdown. The second segment has just concluded, and we want to take a look back. Right at the restart, David Gilliland with problems. He pulls down to the bottom of the racetrack. Electrical issues for that race car. Yeah, tough break. He worked his way up into the top three, and unfortunately, a short night for David Gilliland. The battle continued between Joey Logano and Sergio Pena. For all 200 laps, we've seen that same battle, either side by side or nose to tail for these two drivers. Pena finally able to get in front of that 25. Problems for Josh Combs in the nine. Yeah, collects three other cars, Derek Ramstrom, Brett, Brett Thompson, Blake Cook all involved. Bill Pott at the 0-5 also with issues. The Napa cars got into each other. Paulie Harak into the back of that double zero, and so Ryan Truex goes sideways. You hear Paulie get back out of the throttles, trying to stay off Ryan. Unfortunately, not able to do it. Then on the restart, it's always been Joey Logano, who has been very strong. This time it was Kobolak who goes to the bottom of the racetrack trying to get in front of one of these two, but he drops all the way back to the fourth spot. Sergio Pena was able to get in front of Joey Logano when the yellow flag came out to get us to this second break. Sergio Pena out in front to start the final 25 lap run. Four lead changes and 12 cautions for 87 laps. Our race summary after 202 laps. Dick Bergeron. Well, no way of getting around it. The finish of this race has a history of being a crash fest. Most of the races, not all of them, but most of them have ended up with crumpled fenders, smoked radiators, and angry drivers. And with just, what have we got here? 23 laps so far, we haven't seen the green yet. This thing is shaping up to be the wildest race in the history of the Toyota All-Star Showdown. And Dick, and And Andrew Myers in the 77 car, guys, has moved into the fifth position. They need a longer run. They need about 10 laps. But in reality, they said the way Andrew's driving, they had a very small change, a little wedge out. But they need about 10 laps to catch back up to these guys. The car right behind him, yep, that kid I talked about at the very beginning of the race, Matt DiBenedetto. I just talked to his crew chief, Mike Sibley. He said they were way loose at the beginning of the race. They had a major change on lap 100. They got close. They only made small adjustments to the wedge, a little bit of air pressure up because of the final 25. And I said, Mike, is this your best set of tires? He said, I don't know if we have the best set or not. It's kind of hard to gauge, but we've got a good race driver and a really good piece. So Matt DiBenedetto will be heard from. He said, we want to be in the top five, and I think we're going to get there pretty soon here. So he should be fun to watch as well. Well, Phil, the track gave us a few fireworks. What do you think about the drivers? I think we're going to see some fireworks. So we, as we talked before, no, no more Mr. Nice Guy. They're going to they're going to take that extra inch now. They're not going to leave that room in between those cars. There's going to be some bumping and banging. The final 23 laps of this 225 lap race, and the green flag about to come out. Can Sergio Pena complete a dream weekend after grabbing the pole yesterday? and battling all evening long with Joey Logano. Can he get to victory lane and hoist the trophy at the end of the night? Joey Logano wants to be just the second driver to be a two-time winner of the Toyota All-Star Showdown. Jason Bulls, series champion, Matt Kobolak, a two-time winner. They are in the top four. Field all behind them as we come through three and four for the final segment of this showdown. Sergio Pena. Comes out of turn four, back in the gas, but a great restart for Logano. That's the key right there, but Sergio has a strong enough car maybe to pass Joey back. Kovalek on the high side. He's going to try to take second away from Sergio Pena. Look at Sergio trying to drive through the center of the corner. Right up against Joey. Drops into second. Now back to the inside of Joy Logano. Four wide behind these guys. Look at him, four wide. <laughs> Bumping and banging. An inch right in the middle of that. Jason Bowles in the sixth now. 
A little smoke coming out of that race car. Andrew Myers in the 77 moves up the racetrack. Side by side for the lead, continuing between Sergio. Oh, there's contact that time. Sergio gets into the 25 of Joey Logano. Big wreck over in turn number two. Problems will slow this race down now. Candace Musney in the 62 is stalled on the racetrack. They may revert back to the previous lap. That may give the lead back to Joey Logano for the restart. Great battle up front. And then we had four wide behind him. A lot of damage to that Napa car that just pulled out of your screen. Let's get a look at what happened here. Trucks goes down Barkshire. to the bottom, makes some contact with Jeff Barkshire. Jeff was already down there. Catches Jason Patterson, Candace Musney. Candace was doing a great job running yeah. up in the top 20. Jamie Dick got caught up in that in the 84. Nick Janitis gets by on the outside. Josh Combs on the inside. There's a seven of Kyle Kelly. Phil Pot in the 0 5 goes through there, but a difficult night for that double zero. They had to change a motor. Qualifying, put them all the way to the back of the field for the start, then a little bit of smoke. And worked his way up into the top 10, got together with Pauli Haraka, got turned around, lost all his track position. So that's really why Ryan was back in that situation. Tough, tough break for Ryan. Dick Bergren. Ryan Truax is done. The radiator is punctured. The whole nose of the car is all pushed in. After having started in the back of the field, after changing an engine, he had worked his way forward, then got involved in a spin. Now this. Crew not happy. Another Napa car. Eric Holmes has got a bumper about to come off. Eric Holmes had been competing for a top three spot earlier in this race. Now he's running in the fifth position just behind Andrew Myers. That's really just a piece of fiberglass back there. I don't you know NASCAR may look at that and say hey you need to come in here and take tear that off. We don't want it falling on the racetrack and talk to bringing you another caution yeah. out. And it's about halfway off. Maybe maybe if he's lucky he'll get somebody to come up behind him and knock it off. But they don't want it to go underneath their race car. This is why we're under our 13th caution of the night. See Jeff Barkshire goes all the way down to the white line. Ryan Truex, I don't think knew he was there, came down for the same piece of real estate, collected about three or four other cars. Let's go back down to Dr. Dick Bergeron. With Ryan Truex, what happened? I don't know, idiots. We come out, it sucks to come out here across the whole country, run, run decent the whole night, clean don't touch anybody get all the way up to the front and someone just takes it away from you because they run out of talent you know it's stupid but nothing i can do about it i'm proud of all these guys it gave me a great car i really think we could have won the race but nothing you can do when you race against people like that you did a terrific job tonight we look forward to seeing you next time well the emotions are running high now as we're closing in on the final laps of this race Again, Ryan Truex had come down the racetrack. Barkshire was down there, so I'm not sure if he's calling out Barkshire on this one or. You see Mike Grichy talking about Barkshire, maybe dri just driving down yeah. in the corner. But you know, we talked about it during the break. You know, with less than 25 laps to go, I mean, you're, you're not going to give an inch, right? Because you know, every every inch you give could mean a finishing position, and it's just not going to happen on a short track. Just not enough real estate for all 40 cars. So Jamie Dix, number 84, will get towed off of the racetrack. Logano, Pena, Kobaluk, Myers, and the 20 of Eric Holmes. There are your top five. It's Eric Holmes. Shot him in the driver's seat. They're continuing to clean up the racetrack. There's a little bit of fluid on the back stretch where a few cars were collected. So as they clean up the track, we'll slip off once again. Joey Logano, Sergio Pena putting on a heck of a show here at Irwindale.